Ten more Democrats hit the debate stage tonight as they try to convince voters they should be their party's nominee for the 2020 presidential election. Joining us now is Gray Television's chief national political analyst, Greta Van Susteren. Good morning. Hello, Destiny. How are you? Which candidate stood out to you last night? I'm good. Uh, what stood out to me is, is, is basically that each one of them successfully dodged the bullet in the sense that no one did anything that was a terrible gaffe that pushed him off the stage and gets him out of the field. So the field remains the same number today as it was yesterday. Um, look, they all, want, they all wanted to distinguish themselves, but they didn't want to make mistakes because they were up there, they were up there trying to show that they're viable candidates, that they have smart policies, whether you agree with them or not, and that they should get, fun, they should get donations from anybody out there who likes them. So um, what is surprising is, is basically that it was sort of, there, there were no huge gaffes. Did anybody take a step back last night? Uh, I, you know, I think that it's not so much some took a step back, but some took a step forward. Like Congressman Delaney, former Congressman Delaney from Maryland, is probably somebody that nobody had heard about until last night. If you watch the debate, you now know who he is, and you get a little bit of a taste of what his policies are. Same with Congressman, current Congressman Tim Ryan of Ohio. Probably didn't know him beforehand. Now you do. Um, Senator Elizabeth Warren was fortunate because people may now have watched the full two hours of debates. They probably had some curiosity, turned it on for a while, and she got some of the first questions, and she got questions about the economy and corporations, which are in her wheelhouse. So naturally, those were her strongest answers, so that's what they heard. Uh, if, you were, if you were Senator Klobuchar from the state of Minnesota, uh, she had a strong closing argument, I thought, in the sense that if she, she announced, she, she told the viewers who she was, what she believed in. And I thought that was effective to her, for her, but the problem was is that it was at the two hour mark and unless you stayed up and watched the whole thing, you might not have seen it. So big news is that this is the beginning. Um, they, they all, you know, they distinguish themselves fine, whether you agree with them or not. Tonight, though, you may see a little more traction because the front runner's on tonight. Vice President Biden is way ahead of everybody else, and his, those on the stage with him tonight are going to want to try to do something to eliminate that distance between President, I mean, Vice President Biden and themselves. And tell us what we can expect when Full Court Press with Greta Van Susteren debuts in September. Well, you're going to follow. Well, that's a great question. Thank you very much for asking that question. Here's the difference. It's Sunday morning shows, which I love. I've watched them. I've been on. They tell you what's been going on the last week in Washington. Well, enough of that. I want to reach out to the people, the American people. I want to find out problems that matter to them universally. Student loans, infrastructure. I want to hear from all the, all the TV stations in the Gray family. I want to find out what are the problems that people are feeling. And then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to learn about them. We're going to reach out to the people. We're going to hear from the people in the Gray family. And then I'm going to bring politicians and I'm going to say, what about that? What about that? So it's going to be a little bit giving more charge, more charge to the American people in terms of being able to confront their politicians. So I'm going to do less of report. report. I'm not going to tell you what happened last week. You probably know that already. What I want to do is give, I want to give the American people more of a platform in this discussion. So I think the show is different than most Sunday morning shows. I hope you watch. I absolutely will. I cannot wait. And thank you so much for joining us and have thank a great day.